Does your skater love ice cream? Hi, this is Kim Lucard, Hockey Mom RD. Try this delicious dairy-free vegan ice cream that we love at home. Take two sliced frozen bananas and add a half a cup of frozen strawberries. You're going to want to use a small Cuisinart mixer or blender. This is a three and a half cup blender. Blend until smooth. You don't want it to be uh, lumpy. You want it nice and smooth. This is going to make a fantastic treat that is rich in potassium and vitamin C. It makes a wonderful after skate snack. And then scoop and enjoy. This is Kim Lucard, Hockey Mom RD. Happy skating. I really loved it. I did, yeah. It's, it's a bit different than hockey, but it was fun. Floorball for hockey players. Floorball is an excellent off-ice training sport for hockey players as players can practice stick handling, passing, and shooting skills anywhere at any time. Hockey players will love the feel of a floorball stick and the soft hands required to control the ball. The following drills will demonstrate on-ice skill development in parallel with the floorball or off-ice component. Stick handling. Floorball is a great sport for ice hockey players to practice stick handling. It allows players to practice many different moves because of the special curve on the stick and because the ball is so light. In this demonstration, the player pulls the puck in towards his body around the triangle, stick handles and then performs a backhand flip over the obstacle. The floorball players seen here demonstrate a similar technique on the floor. Here the player fakes a pass to his forehand side and then pulls the puck back with the backhand part of his stick blade, all in one motion, returning back to stick handling in front of his body. The same technique can be done in floorball. Floorball helps ice hockey players become better stick handlers because the same motions and muscles are used when controlling the ball or puck. We spell it P I M P S. Yes, P I M P S. In other words, Pimps. Yes, we pimp for Coach Chick. We're pimping his programs and products and such. That said, do you know what a membership website is? In the case of CoachChick.com, it's a site where members have access to all sorts of hockey advice. And Coach Chick is always available to help them. And his members are coaches, parents of youth players and even adult rec players. Oh, and roller hockey folks, too. And, because Coach Chick isn't too smart, he has lots of special guest writers also. Oh, brother. 
Well, I know he has a goalie coach, mental trainers, strength specialists, and many more. And, besides hundreds of articles, there's audio to listen to, and tons of videos. Most of all, the coach has seen it all, and, he doesn't want his members to make the same painful mistakes, others had to learn the hard way. And, what should such information cost? Oh, I'd say it's thousands of dollars per year. No, God, jeepers. Well, hundreds of dollars? Listen, knucklehead. Less than ten dollars per month. Wow, I could afford that. Not on what that old coach pays. Anyway, it's coachchick.com, and I'm out of here. Night. Hat trick. Good night, slap shot. Knucklehead. Jerk. We want to work with uh, the young guns and mid guns or some of the younger players on their arm movement. So the, some, somewhat controversial in terms of performance skating versus power skating is arm movement. Very clearly uh, high performance players, both male and female, move their arms side to side. So we need to get that movement with the players. And one of the drills that there is very successful with us, I call it arm skating. I've also heard referred to as flat skating. So the drill looks like this. Go for it. That's it. Push, push your arms. Move your arms more, Graham. Push your arms more. Try to go as fast as you can by moving your arms. You got the shot. Now same thing going back. That's it. Keep your knees bent. That's another good coaching point. So let's switch now and have Alex and Kellen. Now these guys, that wasn't a problem. With Alex and Kellen, it's maybe a little bit more of a challenge. So do you guys understand what to do? Two hands on your stick and move your arms as much as you can. Okay, go for it. That's it. Push, push. That's it, Kellen. That's really good, Kellen. And and Alex, that's nice. I love that. Good. Keep going. Push, push, push. Take a shot. Take a shot. That's it. Good work, you guys. Good work. Okay, move your arms side to side. Move your arms side to side. Show me. Show me. Show me. That's it. Now you got it. Dennis Chigas Olens. The Nature of Our Game ranks with other high-level essays, authored by the likes of Gladwell, Percival, and Coyle. It's an in-depth study of our game, it's about the challenges players face in the heat of battle, and it's about the things that influence the way players need to train, both off and on the ice. Get it now, and be well armed to answer almost any question that arises about our game.
Hi, my name is Per Mars. I'm the inventor of Marsblade and our patented slow motion technology. We have a technology that will revolutionize ice skating just like the composite hockey sticks did some 20 years ago. The technology is based on a split chassis where the rounded upper chassis is working against the flat bottom one, enabling higher speed, increased power and quicker turns. I first developed the technology to transfer the feel of skating on ice to roller skating as I wanted to improve my off-ice training. It's been pretty incredible to see all the amazing feedback that we've got from hockey players using this product around the world, ranging from kids and recreational players to NHL superstars such as Niklas Backstrom, Max Pacioretty and Henrik Sederberg. And of course this makes us very proud. During the development of the roller frame, one of my colleagues suggested that we should make an ice holder with the same technology. I was skeptic at first, and I told him it won't work. But after thinking about it, it came clear to me that there is a problem with the traditional rigid holders as they easily dig into the ice when you lean backward or forward, causing you to lose speed. And in theory, our flow motion technology should actually enable a longer and more powerful stride which would improve hockey players' performance. And I thought to myself, we have to try this. We have worked extremely hard to develop and verify the product, and the feedback that we get from NHL players as well as power skating coaches is incredible. Feels like they're above the ice all the time too. It's not like you're carving down. You have a little extra push when you're like just in the end of the turn, like it's just like your big difference. When I had my my old skate for a bit, it's just digging down. Wow, unbelievable. You can really feel you gain some speed when you when you do that. This is a great feel overall. You can really challenge it. Really trust the edges. Problem with some guys with normal skates. So far they're awesome. Feels effortless. Feels unbelievable. It's a cool feeling. The turns are so easy. So you don't have to shift your weight, it does it for you. This is good for the balance, transitions with the speed. You're not wasting your energy. For efficiency in gliding and skating, this is good. I love it. And it almost feels like generate speed itself. It's unbelievable. It reminds me the change from a regular ski to the X-shaped skis. It's incredible the amount of pressure it gives you. So it's honestly like the 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 blade is going to be something that changes the game. I really believe that now. Like, from, from a skeptic to a believer, it's, uh, and it's not easy to convince me. The regular holder has only one pivot point, forcing the steel blade to dig into the ice, reducing speed. While Mars Blade has an extra pivot point, allowing more blade contact on the ice, creating quicker turns. The regular holder is rigid and limits the player's movement and stride length, while Mars Blade allows a wider range of movement for a longer stride, creating higher speed. The regular holder quickly ends up in the front and back part of the blade, reducing stability, while Mars Blade centers the pressure to improve balance and increase power. The benefits of the technology is supported by scientific research, and a study by the European leading Swedish Winter Sports Research Center shows that a longer stride is what characterizes the fastest skaters. And our initial tests shows that this is exactly what the flow motion technology enables. The performance of the prototype is verified and the players are eagerly waiting to start using them. It's time to take the final steps from this handmade carbon fiber prototype to get it to the market. 
We are finalizing the design of the product and now we need your support to be able to get it into large scale production. Back us and be among the first players on the Marsblade ice holder. Join the biggest movement happen in the hockey industry. So now we'll go here, 
We'll dig in here. We'll rotate around. This hip flexor is going to really have to stretch a lot while my left scapula really has to work. And considering this is my tight side, ah, dude, working hard. Pull parts, diagonal, horizontal, split stance, parallel stance. What do you want to do? Enjoy. Brought to you by Local Video Mag.